everyone, it's Lex from All Ginger To Me, and I'm here to share my little secret. No, this video is not clickbait. It actually did happen, and the story begins. So, we're winding down the wedding. It was supposed to end at midnight. It ends up going until like two in the morning. So a couple people were left over and we wanted to do a really beautiful like firework exit. I was wearing a red dress at the reception. So yes, it's my wedding. I was just trying to be like, ooh la la, red. <laughs> it's my husband's favorite color. So I was trying to be like, impress him, you know? So we were, you know, walking out with the fireworks. Um, it was beautiful. Go down and all of a sudden, instead of the like aisle of people going straight, or to our hotel, uh, we were walking distance from where we were staying that night. Uh, it was all downtown. All of a sudden it curved right. And I was like, that's weird. I guess we're gonna have to do like an awkward little U-turn on the street and walk to our place. And at the end of the sparkler display, I see this Lamborghini with the front door open, like waiting for us. Key in, waiting for us. And I thought, who did that? <laughs> to be frank, I thought maybe it was my dad. Sometimes he can be like a little over the top with stuff and um, I thought like maybe he rented it just for the night or the, the video or whatever because like we, we don't we don't know that would be. But I thought, God, that's kind of weird because we had a 1920s theme so I thought if anyone actually did end up renting something for us, which is so kind, I thought it'd be like an old vehicle, you know? So I see this like hot, brand new Lamborghini at the end of this thing. And I'm like, okay, cool. We hop in, Patrick gets in and he's like, I'm not driving this anywhere. And I was like, babe, like it's, it's for the video. Like, what do you mean? He's like, I don't fit. Uh, so if you watch my last video, my husband's very tall and he's sitting in this car and it's a convertible. It comes to a normal person, you would be sitting in it and then the windshield would be here because he's tall and it's, an Italian car, kind of small, he is like either here or he has to squat down like this. So he's like, uh-uh, I ain't driving this anywhere. It's, I can't fit in it. And then he looks down and he's like, oh yeah, and it's a manual. And you know, we're basic, so he can't drive a shift. We, we're kind of debating this. The camera people are kind of confused because we're kind of like, oh, what do we do? Because like, we're not really driving this anywhere, are we? And all of a sudden, my friend comes up to me, one of my bridesmaids love her, comes up to me and she was like, what are you guys doing in my boyfriend's car? What are you guys doing in my boyfriend's car? I look over her, I'm like, well, what are we doing in your boyfriend's car? And she was like, guys, this is my, this is my boyfriend's car. Like, what are y'all doing? And I was like, I honestly don't know. Like, it, they told us to come here and like, uh, and it's like, oh, he just got it yesterday. This is brand new. Calming person, he was like, guys, it's fine. Yes, this is my car. I'm, you know, I'm sorry. I was actually just running in again real quick. And that's why I had left it open and stuff. And you know, he was whispering this by the way. Cause it was like, everyone was looking at us. And he was like, it's okay. Just drive around the corner. Let's not make a big deal about it. We're good to go. And then Pat was like, no, mm -mm, no, no, no. Can't drive it. Mm -mm, mm -mm. And so Eric was like, dude, just, just do this, do this, do this, do this. And like, get around the corner. He drives it. <laughs> you know, because he, he doesn't know how to drive a stick or whatever it is. But it's like a fancy time car. We go around the corner and some of Patrick's like groomsmen had run after us. Like immediately, we're like, oh no, 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 we gotta get out of this thing. And they're like, man, let's sit in it. Like, da da. And we're like, no, let's sit in this. <laughs> like, it's not ours. We didn't rent this. Like, no. Uh, he came like around the corner. He's like, all right, guys, like, don't worry. It's all cool. Like, yes, you stole my car, but like, it's fine. Then me and Pat walked to our <laughs> hotel. Because <laughs> we ain't fancy like that. So we just walked down to the hotel. But that was the night that we stole a Lamborghini at a wedding. <laughs>